we have now taken the LGBT agenda and very much put it to the top of the list. So in terms of internal shift, I think that's been a massive change and, and a huge achievement uh, within, within Hogan Lovells. Um, but then externally, there have also been some very visible achievements, um, such as the Pride of Hong Kong event that we uh, that we did in, in 2015, June, t June 2015, where we got uh, business leaders, uh, NGOs, um, the EOC and uh, the government representative to talk about the need for educational policy change uh, and, and um, uh, anti-discrimination legislation. So when I look at the population in, in Hong Kong um, and in Credit Suisse, people aren't necessarily aware of LGBT inclusion and why it's important and why it's important that people are able to bring their whole selves to the workplace. So I actually see that as an opportunity and I think about how can I change that? How can we create a more inclusive environment both in the workplace and more widely across Credit Suisse, Hong Kong? And the thing I was most proud about was in Credit Suisse we launched some training to our most senior level executives to explain to them why LGBT inclusion was so important. And as a result of this training, 60% of our managing director population have signed up to become LGBT allies. This was a fabulous achievement and reflects the level of support that we now have in our organization from the top down. I think that would have to be sort of marshalling the energy and the passion of Goldman Sachs in the run-up to Pink Dot to have our first Pink Friday, where the entire firm in Hong Kong, over 1,600 employees across two offices, wore these pink shirts provided by Goldman Sachs that highlighted the reasons that you could be an ally because you're out yourself, you have an out family member, you have an out team worker, or it's just important to you. And on that day, as individuals wore these on the MTR and the buses into work to client meetings, uh, you know, at their desk, it was just impressive to see the sea of pink and really made the invisible visible in terms of Goldman Sachs's support for LGBT inclusion here in Hong Kong. I'd like to thank all of the nominees. It was an incredibly strong shortlist, uh, evidencing some really passionate and committed individuals. I, uh, I think personally it's uh, excellent for Alan Overy to be so sponsoring this award uh, and I've got a lot of very good takeaways to take back and implement in our institution. Thank you very much.